Okay, we got the 2019 Corolla Hatchback. This is the XSE in smoked paprika metallic. The XSE. I'm gonna take this thing out for a little spin. It's got the Moonstone interior. We first saw in the Prius. This is the Entune 3.0 Premium. So in addition to XM, all the connected services like the SOS Connect, Remote Connect, Wi-Fi, all of that's available and you also got the integrated dynamic navigation. So that's gonna follow us. On here you can even put in destination, destination assist. It will actually call an operator and you can talk to a live person and get assistance on your destination surge. They'll even stay on and help you with the directions if you need it. So really cool feature available uh, as a trial period on this car. This one also has dual air control so passenger and driver can have their own heat settings if you see here. Or cool settings, it's cold today so heat settings it is. You also got heated seats down here as well. So every new 2019 Corolla hatchback comes with a couple of features that are, well actually it all of them come with a Toyota Safety Sense P uh, 2.0 standard. So it doesn't matter what trim level you get. This is the XSE, which is the highest trim, but you can also get it in the uh, regular LE. This is a cool feature. This is the hold button I just pushed. And you see there where it says hold. So now I can take my foot off the brake and it's just gonna keep me in place here. All right, so we're gonna demonstrate some of the Toyota Safety Sense P 2.0 features that are available. So some of the new things are the standard things. You have automatic high beams, which is on the regular 2.0 as well. So for 2.0, or for the regular TSSP. All right, so that just beeped because I'm exceeding the speed limit. This also has road sound detection, which is part of that. TSSP 2.0 feature. So with regular Toyota Safety Sense, you get automatic high beams. You get pre-collision with pedestrian detection. You get dynamic radar cruise control. You get lane departure alert. And you also get the sway warning as part of that lane departure alert. So with 2.0, you get the roadside deten detection, or the road sign detection, not roadside, road sign detection. And that's gonna read the road sign. So, uh, one way yield stop uh, the speed limit it's going to get all of that so this one actually has a notification set to where if you exceed the speed limit it gives you a one-time alert on there and it highlights there in yellow or orange around the speedometer the speed sign as you can see but the really cool feature that i wanted to demonstrate today is the lane tracing assist So when you're driving and you have this in dynamic radar cruise control and you have the lane departure turned on, what this car is gonna do is basically it's gonna follow the car in front of it and also read the lines next to you and the lane you're in to keep your car centered. Now it's not a self-driving tool, it's still an alert system and a guidance system. And so I'm gonna show you how that works. So we're gonna go ahead and turn radar cruise control on as you can see that's on we're gonna set our speed we're at 57 right now that's fine I'm gonna drop my distance there to one blue bar and so you'll notice on the outside of the white lines it's telling me it's reading the lines and I'm barely have my hands on the wheel and it's guiding me to keep me in the center lane center of my lane so those blue lines indicates to me that it's reading that, and so I barely have my hands on the wheel and it's following that line for me, as you can see. And so there's, uh, I don't know if 
you saw that warning, there's sensors in there where if you take your hands completely off the wheel, like I'm doing now, which you shouldn't do, do not try this at home, but it's following along these lines. But it knows that I should be in control, and so it's gonna remind me, keep your hands on the wheel, this is not a self-driving vehicle, it's just a guidance system to help you along the way. So a really cool new feature. This is only available right now on the 2019 Corolla hatchback. It's gonna be coming out on the 2019 RAV4s as well. And this is the lane tracing assist. Pull the steering wheel. So the dynamic radar cruise control is reading the vehicles in front of me. It's reading the lines on either side. And it's just guiding me right down the center of that. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to get off at this exit. Once it's safe to do so. So now you see that the white lines are there, so it still has the lane departure alert on. So if I were to drift over and hit one of these lines, it's still going to beep to alert me. As long as it's reading that. So it just beeped to alert me. So the lane departure alert is still there. The lane tracing assist works when you are in dynamic radar cruise control. And then I'm gonna show you on these uh, roads up here, we're gonna get on just some regular roads, not on the highway. And while we're not in dynamic radar cruise control, I'm gonna show you how that lane departure alert works. And again, the lane departure alert is uh, active approximately at 32 miles an hour and higher. All right, so this is a little bit more of an open road, not as much traffic. Just let me know I was exceeding the 35 miles an hour. Okay, so now it's reading the lines to the left of me, and it's also got the uh, road edge detection, because there's no lines over here to the right, but it'll still pick that up uh, here and there. You'll see it pop up here and there. There's things like leaves and debris and other stuff. But I'm gonna show you what happens when you start to go over into that lane. So it guides you back into the lane. Just like your normal lane tracing assist. Uh, what I've noticed from driving this one versus like the 2018 with the regular lane tracing assist and not, or the lane, I'm sorry, the regular uh, lane departure alert is you have the steering assist which just guides you back what this one tends to do let me get over here to the center where I've got two lines and so here's what I've noticed is the uh, lane tracing assist let me wait till we get a little bit straighter all right when we go over and hit it guides me back and then almost tends to straighten up where the steering assist before in the uh, previous version it's adjusts you back towards the lane but it doesn't follow this does a better job in my opinion of following the lane kind of bouncing you back and forth than it does in the uh, previous version so this 2.0 version just seems to be a bit more intuitive even when you don't have the dynamic radar cruise control on and I'll show you a demonstration. So we just did that in a real life test, but to be a little bit more safe. So when you hit the lane, it tends to go back towards your lane and then straighten up. Whereas in the previous version, it would just do like this. And then you just kind of kept drifting where this one will actually go and then straighten up for you to get you back into that center of the lane, as opposed to just guiding you back towards your lane. And so this is a really cool uh, feature. And again, it doesn't overpower you if you're in control and you're swerving to avoid something or uh, something of that nature. It's not gonna rip the steering wheel out of your hands or anything like that. And I keep forgetting I have the hold button on this, which is such a great feature because I can take my foot off the brake as you can see. And we're just sitting here. I didn't have to put it in park. I just have the hold on. There's a timing mechanism on this too. If uh, something were to happen and I weren't to respond, it would throw on the emergency brake. And this is also the first Corolla to have blind spot monitoring. I'm gonna show you here when I get past the Sienna. All right, so if you look over here at the blind spot monitoring, it lights up orange when somebody's in my blind spot. If I were to put my turn signal on, it flashes. I really like that feature. 
that's a Corolla first. They haven't had that in the Corolla models before. That's the great thing about this hatchback. There's more technology in this uh, Corolla hatchback than we have in any of our other cars. As far as safety features, the TSS 2.0 and all of that. Now we're going to get back over. Head back to the dealership. So again, the, hold, the green hold up here lets me know that it's on. The yellow hold down here, the orange hold, lets me know that it's engaged, that the car is actually being held in place. We've got a green one, uh, BSM, that's for the blind spot monitoring, lets you know that that's on. You've got the lane departure alert, the lane detect tracing uh, assist. If that button's engaged, and you know that those systems are active and ready to go. And then I've got the lights on auto. You push that forward for brights, and then you select the A button down here. That's auto high beam. So now as you're driving and the uh, lights are on at night, so they come on automatically when it's dark, and when you're traveling approximately above 32 miles or 25 miles an hour, if there's no headlights or taillights in front of you, it'll kick on the high beams. So uh, it'll let you know, you know, give you better visibility while you're driving at night. And a lot of times when you wouldn't even think to kick on the high beams, like when you're driving through a neighborhood and you don't realize like how much you weren't seeing into yards up ahead of you. And so those high beams kick on and you realize that your field of vision has expanded greatly. It's one of my favorite safety features. If you haven't gotten a chance to drive or test drive one of these Corolla hatchbacks, these are fun little cars to drive. They really do whip around. All right, lane tracing assist again. It's following the lane. We're on a curve. It reminds me to take hold as soon as I do. It's back to guiding me in my lane. Just a cool driving, and you can see the speed dropping. So it's braking because there's a car in front of me and it's reading that car, that symbol right there. That's that car in front of me, that blue bar is the space in between us and this, the nose of my car. So I'm not touching the pedals, not braking. I'm gonna let this guy over though and take control. And here we are, almost back to the dealership. With this audio package, I haven't paired my phone to this or it would download my Intune so I'd get all of these apps you get remote connect so with remote connect you could start your car you can check the fuel level you can lock and unlock the doors and it's all from your phone and you can do that anywhere you have uh, phone reception and the car has reception just a ton of technology that they pack in this Corolla hatchback there we have it ride and drive proximity key so i just locked the car from the door handle but a fun little ride and drive in the corolla xse hatchback